We begin tonight with all bark and no bite. Eyebrow raising new advice for the Sacramento Police Department, a department under scrutiny by the state attorney general for its use of force policies. Today, the AG releasing part two of its report into SAC PD commissioned after the death of Stefan Clark. The findings include a lack of de escalation tactics, minorities targeted and searched more frequently by police, and officers leaving out important information when writing reports on use of force incidents. And the DOJ also requesting a change when it comes to the use of police dogs. CBS 13's Laura Hayfley is live in Sacramento with the push, Laura, to bark, not bite. Well, it was just more than a month ago, protesters marched to SAC PD's South Station right up this driveway to the front doors. All of that after the death of George Floyd. They were demanding change, and now they may see some. The DOJ suggesting some changes, not only for Sacramento police officers, but for their four-legged partners. The country is watching us. The Sacramento City Council requested a review of the city's police department tactics after officers killed Stefan Clark in 2018. Phase one of the review was released by the DOJ in January of 2019, and today they've released phase two. I hope that this is something that Californians, especially those in law enforcement, will heed and pay attention to. One of the AG's suggestions. <laughs> Police dogs in Sacramento should be retrained to find their target and bark rather than find and bite. A recommendation SAC PD shot down in the phase one report, but it's found its way back. It's possible, but it would be a, a difficult task. Carrie Halligan has 20 years of experience working with police dogs and says retraining a canine is tough and expensive. Most police dogs at fully trained value of thirty to fifty thousand dollars and that's the the purchase of the dog, the experience, the training. So it would probably be a large chunk of change for an agency. More than thirty percent of the Sacramento Police Department's use of force cases involve a police dog. And I think it's good to have different um, tools other than guns to de escalate situations if need be. But Tanya Faison with Black Lives Matter says canines tend to do the opposite. They use their dogs as weapons. The Sacramento Police Department says they will review the phase two recommendations and will communicate any changes to policing policies they choose to implement. Now, SAC PD has not responded to these recommendations yet. They're going to do what they did for phase one. They'll take a thorough look at phase two and decide what to implement or what not to implement.